Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Stephen Davidson here. And uh, a bit of sad news. You're probably looking at this and wondering, what in the world is he up to now? This ain't uh, shave related. It, it is honing related, but there will be no honing in this one. But I need to get to let people know what's going on here. I live in a humid client. I've always had trouble and issues with things sweating, but... I do have a dehumidifier over here. Let me get a shot at it. It's noisy as I'll get out, so I got it off during the video, but I need to let people know what's been going on. The last three stones that I've bought from Nineveh, they perform great and everything, but Longevity leaves a lot to be desired, so I'm going to start with my Naniwa 600 grit professional. This is the Naniwa professional 600 or Nuchasera. See how it's starting to crack and craze? I've had it for years and feel that. See? I've had it for years. I did not put it up wet. I leave them out air drying on a rack. In fact, I got my rack right there. And I run the dehumidifier while I'm drying my stones out. So, because so, they do tend to load up and whatnot. But, yeah. See? It's trying to craze on me and crack in some spots. Not the This ain't the only one. This is the 91 Professional New Chisera 600 grit. My 91 Snow White Junpaku 8K Shrimp Mark. See? I don't know if you can see it or not. See how it's trying to crack a craze on me? I don't know if you can see it or not. See how it's trying to crack a craze on me right there's one. What not? I've had this for a year. Maybe almost two. This one I just bought. And they were 12K and look. It's already trying to craze and crack too. Guys, I don't put my stones up wet. They're sweating like crazy. And I really don't. I leave them out and I leave the heat dehumidifier running for as long as I can. And I leave these out for at least 24 hours on the rack I showed you. Point blank. I will not be buying another Naniwa stone if they're going to do this no sooner I get them. This is my newest stone. And I'm also starting to see the same thing with my Nagura of this stone that I got. So I'm pretty much done with Naniwa, folks. This thing feels like plastic when you hone on it. It does produce a good edge, yes, but if it's going to do this... No sooner than I've, I've, not, I've not even had this a year, I don't think. This one here, same thing. And this one here, same thing. So, I'm pretty much done with Nineveh's water stones at this point, including the Chisera's. Because if they're going to crack and craze, and I, can't, I just can't see, keep simply throwing money at these. These stones are expensive. Every one of these stones is, let's see, this one was $100. The Snow White was over a hundred. This one was a hundred ten. This one was a hundred. This one was seventy. And look at them. I'm trying to crack a craze on me. So if you want a good stones, go with the Shapton Pro Kuramaku series. I'll put links below and everything. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd share what was going on with you. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Take care and God bless.